Good morning and welcome to Calyx Growing Things where we demonstrate safe, sustainable and productive gardening practices. I'm Thelma and today we're going to head over to the food garden for a very interesting demonstration. So come on, let's go. Today we are here, we've picked a beautiful day to demonstrate how you plant tomatoes in a relatively small bed. We're going to be deep planting these tomatoes because some of you may know that the tomato plant will send out roots along its stem and the more roots you get into the hole the better the more roots that will develop to feed the plant and a stronger more productive tomato plant so we're going to demonstrate that today and just to let you know we produce these seeds seedlings in the nursery we started out with relatively small seedlings when they were at the two leaf stage and then we transplanted it into a larger size pot because we wanted healthy, sturdy seedlings for this deep planting method. And part of the deep planting method, we are going to remove these lower leaves because these are the leaves that will become infected very quickly during rains or when you water and the soil splashes up onto these leaves. These are the leaves that will get infected with fungus especially the late blight so we will be removing the lower leaves any leaf and as they grow any leaf that is likely to be splashed from the soil we will continue to remove these so let us examine the root structure of this plant and this if you look it's not root bound so there's no need to tease out the lower ones they're nice fine white healthy leaves roots sorry so we put them into this hole this hole has been prepared we put approximate this is about a half gallon of compost which we made here in the nursery and we dumped this on the surface we'll demonstrate that to you shortly you see some dumped here and we just dug the hole where it is dumped so therefore we have a good incorporation so here we are with, let us plant this first one you see how deep a shovel back in the soil that has already been mixed with compost and there we have it you firm it a bit and it's always best to leave a little indentation so when you water it will soak in and not run off All right, if we turn to this one, it's the same process. The, the hole is dug approximately six inches deep. It's a big hole. We remove the lower leaves. And again, nice, healthy roots. Put them in. And cover firm, leave a little hole. You get the idea. Alright, as I continue to plant on this line, let me just explain to you the spacing of these tomato plants. We are, have placed them two and a half feet apart and you will see they are the same spacing in this line. Notice the cord. The tape on the cord is guiding me to tell me where to put the hole. But you notice they are staggered. They are not lined up immediately across. This maximizes the amount of space each plant will have to grow in. We've already removed the leaves from the lower stem here. Take off the pot, sink it, cover, and we're good to go on this one. So we should be able to do the others in no time. Now we are getting the kind of sunlight that plants love to grow. This is the second part of the demonstration of tomatoes, the planting method of tomatoes. We opted to do a portion of the tomatoes in beds and we're going to plant four tomatoes in five gallon containers. In, with container growing, any crop in containers, you have to be very careful what you put into the pot because the, the plants are really limited to what you put into the pot in terms of the nutrients that they take out. 
from the soil. Here we're using our very own compost because we have a lot of compostable material of the trash, etc. The downside in the, this garden though, we are not blessed with good organic soil. We have a very high mineral soil, you see the red color. This is what they might use to mine bauxite from very quickly. So we've been augmenting this soil. We use what we have, as I say, the same soil in the beds. So we have added, we will make a potting mix today that has three parts soil, one part compost, and we will put that into the pot. And as the tomatoes grow, we will augment the organic matter content with side dressing of compost as well as manure. So to save time, we've already mixed the potting soil in the ratio three soil to one compost. We've filled the containers that we're going to use, two thirds, we've added the mixture to the compost, two thirds up, and now we are going to proceed to plant, to deep plant. And recall, just as we did in the bed, we removed the lower leaves where the soil may splash and transfer fungus, bacteria, etc. So we, we remove, we've removed those already. And the reason for planting deep is that a lot of roots will come out from this section of the lower stem, thereby giving the plants more opportunity to extract nutrients from the soil. The plants will grow sturdier and produce much more. So the deeper, as long as the, soil, the leaves are not in contact with the soil, we're good. So again, we examine, make sure that we have the rooting structure that we want, very nice. And here we are, the camera can come along. We will. So it is planted about six inches deep into the soil, if you can see the ruler. We will now fill it up to the top with the prepared potting mix. Simple as that. And there we go. As easy as that. As I said, well, we will deep water it now, make sure the water goes all the way to the bottom and sub probably every four weeks or so we will put a layer of manure and compost and work that into the soil. Just to demonstrate the level of drainage we get here, if you can see, I will Then, good. Now I can do that safely because drainage was another important component has been accounted for in this container. It's a five gallon container, so it holds a lot. We have put relatively large pebbles, stones in the bottom to ensure that any water that accumulates at the bottom and no water should accumulate because there are also drainage holes in the bottom. The holes, are, the stones are there to keep the roots away from any water that may accumulate in the bottom. So let us proceed to plant the second one. We will plant the other two off camera, but we'll keep track of the growth and let you know how they turn out. But what is important is regular monitoring. So that's it for today. And remember, look out for all other videos. As the crop progresses, we will keep you abreast of the developments. And don't forget, Please subscribe, tell your friends about it, and we will see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.